Here's today's hike. I uh, hiked from Broadway Trailhead. Uh, this is off of 60. If you go up, here's um, uh, Mountain View Road. You go up Mountain View Road to um, Broadway. This is Broadway. You go down the end of Broadway, and there's a... Uh, and I've hiked here. When I hiked to uh, Monument Canyon, I also hiked from this parking lot. It was pretty crowded today. You can park on the street down from here. You can't park. Uh, all these were filled today, but you can't park uh, here up on the road because it turns. So I, I parked down here and uh, rode it up there. It was a good hike. Uh, I enjoyed it. Um, there is a lot of um, shell. Once you go off of Jacob's Crosscut, now here's Jacob's Crosscut. You're going here. Um, this is actually, this right here, as I mentioned in my previous video, is a Lost Gold Mine Trail. It goes across here, and it continues all the way up. Uh, it goes to um, Cloudview Road, and then it goes to the Cloudview, and then starts at the Hieroglyphics, and goes all the way to, almost to Peralta Trailhead. So... <laughs> That's a long way, so give you an idea how far that is. It goes all the way across here. Here's um, uh, Old Turk's Head, Turk's Head. It goes all the way across here, and then it ends up, that that ends up, it goes through Carney Springs, and then it ends up all the way here, um, right, right in this, here is the end of it. And Peralta Trailhead is up here off the of 77. So that gives you an idea how far that is. It, give you just a line of sight. Uh, let's do that just for fun, a line of sight to measure it. Uh, from here to, we'll click it there, and then we'll go all the way to, maybe he says, it's over here. Let's see if I can take that from the, yeah. Um, to here. Um, that is what? How far is that? That's eight miles. So just one way, line of sight is eight miles. So <laughs> uh, you can hike that. I think it's more like uh, 11 or 12, maybe even 13 miles to hike uh, the Lost Gold Mine through there to uh, where it terminates. But anyway, you go up from Jacob's Crosscut, you go up here. And then there's uh, Jacob Crosscut keeps going across this way. Uh, Jacob's Cross again goes all the way around uh, Flatiron, which is uh, up here. Well, Flatiron's right there, but it goes all the way around that and it goes up this way. So uh, I actually met some people on the trail today that were coming from, um, a, you know, uh, second water, you know, the uh, first water um, uh, parking lot. Uh, they they hiked back and forth, and they said it was only uh, 13 miles, but I think it's a little bit more than that. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's fly it. I went up to the cave, took some pictures. I posted the pictures like I usually do on Facebook. Let's take a look at it and fly it. To give you an idea, my speed was pretty, yeah, what is it here going up? It was one and a half miles an hour about. Now, coming down, it was pretty good. Uh, once I got to the flat part right here, uh, you can see it was actually two and a half miles an hour. Uh, I got up to 4.4 miles an hour. I don't know when I did that, but it was moving pretty good there. I did, uh, but you look at, as I'm going up to the cave uh, from the part there, let's see, that's uh, about 0.8 miles an hour. Uh, this is 0.9, so almost a mile, mile an hour in the, that area there. So let's fly it uh, and see what you think. Uh, let's get rid of this and come over here. I'm getting better at this, aren't I? Boom. And we'll fly it. And we start here again at the um, parking lot here. I don't know why it had me going over there. I didn't go over there, but anyway. Um, and so we go up. This is pretty flat here. This, like I said, this is Lost Gold Mine Trail. Then it switches. Lost Gold Mine keeps going this way, and then it goes up here to Jacob's Crosscut. 
it's a little gets a little rocky here, but not bad. It's only when you get up uh, farther up here, this cut off here. Now, like I said, uh, you can see the trail there. Jacob's crosscut cuts over, but this is now this becomes a lot more rocky, a lot more shell and stuff. And then this cut off, you can go up here. I've done before that goes up to the Monument Canyon. But this one turns off and then you go up and then it gets pretty rough here. For some reason, I've done this before. Uh, some reason I come up a different way than I go down, but I just follow the trail, I thought. Uh, in fact, two places here you can see I diverged a little bit. And the, uh, you can't really see it here, but, and I think it's right here. I don't think it's, yeah, in fact, it's marked right here. Uh, this is, stuff doesn't look right. I did go back into the cave. Maybe that's what it was thinking here. But, uh, and I posted some pictures of that. Let's continue to fly it and speed it up. And then we go back to parking lot. Good hike. Enjoyable. Not too long. Uh, how long did I say it was? Uh, let me look at that real quick. Whoops. Uh, you come here and you go to points and you go show all vision profile. Uh, it was a total of... Uh, how many miles? 3.77, about 3.8 miles. So anyway, good hike, enjoyable. Uh, I hope you enjoy the pictures. Thanks.